latest limited edition fragrances from Phoenix Autos on accoutrements for June coming your way. Hey Fragrance Family, I'm Dave and I'm a Fragrance Bro, of course your best source for everything fragrance related. Today, I have a video about more Phoenix Arizona accoutrement scents. Now Phoenix Arizona accoutrements is kind of a men's grooming company. They sell a lot of wet shaving products, a lot of shaving soaps, deodorants, aftershaves, soaps, shampoos, everything that you can think of, they have, and they're all top tier. I love them and I can highly recommend them. Today we're gonna to be talking about some of their limited edition scents. They have limited edition fragrances they release every few weeks it seems like that and they have some every single month. Now they sent me the aftershaves so I'll show that on camera but they also sell eau de parfums and if you're interested in any of these definitely check them out in the link down below. They also sell samples as well so if you're interested in trying any of these definitely try the samples down below. And they sell all their products in any of the scents so you can get all, the whole suite of products in these scents, which I think is fantastic. Now, first scent we're gonna be talking about is Thought Forms, kind of a collaboration between me and Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements. Very barbershop-like, rosy frankincense. It's got a like, cooling menthol type of smell to it. It's excellent, it's really, really good. It's not for everyone though. I don't think everyone will like it, but if you wanna try it, you wanna support the channel, definitely check out a sample down below. Full review of the line up here. So if you wanna go look at the whole line, see my full thoughts, you can definitely check the link up here. All right, first fragrance we're gonna be talking about is Immortal Peach. Now this is one that I know has been out for a while. I saw it last year, didn't get to try it, but I got to this year and it is definitely a peach scent. I mean, it smells just like peaches, 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 peaches. It smells like peaches. I'm not exactly sure the release date, but it was reworked in 2019 into what we know now today. Notes in this are peaches, aldehydes, and hedione, I think. They don't really have a note breakdown. And for the color, they actually put a certain sandalwood odorless uh, molecule in there to kind of make the fragrance more orange. You can definitely see the orange peach colored hue to it and that's from perfume ingredients. Now whenever I smell this, this is definitely peaches. If you've tried the kind of gummies called peach rings, I know they have it in the states here, I don't know if they have it in other places of the world, but there's a kind of gummy called peach rings down here. It's like that, very sweet, um, but there's more to it than that. It's not just candy and it has a lot of depth to it. I think a lot of the aldehydes kind of really added a lot of dimension and depth to it. For a one note fragrance, I do think that this has a lot of interesting facets to it. It's sweet and juicy, and it even has almost like this dusty quality that Peach Fuzz has. It's far more complex than I thought a one note fragrance could be. And that's one reason why I really like it. Definitely check out Immortal Peach. Really cool artwork on this too, huh? <laughs> All right, next is Rabid Banana. Now, Rabid Banana is a fragrance I did get to try last year, and I think I did get to talk about it a little bit, and this one is definitely banana. Now, if you've smelled or tasted banana flavor before, it's like that, kind of the artificial type of banana. I'm okay with that. I think that kind of is our standard of what banana is. If you try the candy called Laffy Taffy, the banana flavored Laffy Taffies, or High Chews, the banana flavored High Chews, then you get a great sense of what this is. This is candy-like banana sweet. I love banana Laffy Taffies, but if there is a candy that is more polarizing than banana Laffy Taffy, it's probably maybe black licorice. There's only like two candies in the world that are so polarizing, banana Laffy Taffies and licorice, my God. But rabbit banana, excellent banana flavor. There's not much to it other than the kind of traditional banana Laffy Taffy candy like banana that we smell, but it's excellent for what it is. Now the copy on their website mentions uh, scratch and sniff stickers from the 80s as a kind of banana flavor. And I do get that, but I think that it's kind of just a generic kind of sweet banana flavor that we're all just kind of accustomed to. And on a side note here, I did actually mix this with Space Nog, their Christmas release, which has kind of an eggnog, vanilla, spice flavor to it. I mixed them together to kind of see if I can get in the realm of maybe banana pudding. I think I did get close, but I'm gonna kind of see if I can angle for a rabid nog type of mashup here. Next is Doppelganger Oxblood. Now the Doppelganger line is a line of fragrances that are exact clones of certain fragrances. So they have one of Dior Sauvage, they have one of Aventus, they have one of Creed Windsor, and they have some other ones as well. I don't really like clones. Uh, one thing that I will say though, is that because they make their whole kind of suite of other products in this type of scent, I do find there's more value to buying their other products in this line. I like the idea of cloning fragrances that aren't available, but fragrances that are available, that's where I draw my line. Anyway, rant over. What is Doppelganger Oxblood? This is a clone of Sartorial by Penhaligans. 
Now, Sartorial is a classic fragrance from Penhaligons that is supposed to be reminiscent of a tailor's workshop. It was done, I believe, in collaboration with a tailor called Norton and Sons, which is a bespoke tailor on Savile Row in London, England. Has a lot of really interesting notes that kind of bring about that kind of kind of oeuvre of the kind of tailor's workshop. Now, notes in this are violet leaf, neroli, cardamom, black pepper, ginger, beeswax, cyclamen, linden blossom, lavender, leather, gurgum wood, patchouli, myrrh, cedar, tonka, oak moss, and amber. Now, this is definitely a fougere through and through. And a couple of disclaimers. I haven't been to Savile Row, so I haven't smelled uh, the actual tailor they're referencing here. And I haven't smelled sartorial in a long time, so I'm not exactly sure how close this gets to either of those things. Don't really know, but this is really, really good. This is very much in the kind of classic barbershop vein. It's not as powdery. It does have that kind of old school vibe to it with a kind of modern twist on it. It's very masculine. It does have some interesting kind of metallic notes, green notes, leather notes. It feels modern and kind of smoothed out around the edges. I think this is very wearable as far as fougeres go. Sometimes fougeres can kind of beat you on the head, be very powerful and punchy. Some people really like that and sometimes I really like that but I think that this is kind of um, a less dramatic version of a fougere which I really appreciate it's masculine green full barbershop like a tiny bit metallic a tiny bit bitter and a tiny bit powdery as well if you like this type of scent I would definitely say maybe try the other uh, products in the Phoenix Arizona accoutrements range I don't know if I would necessarily recommend the eau de parfum but the other products definitely check them out Next is Vetiver Planet. Now, if you've ever wanted to smell vetiver by itself, this is your go-to. It's got like all the vetiver ingredients. <laughs> it is like stepping on a planet full of vetiver. Notes are Indian vetiver absolute, Indian vetiver root that is inside the bottle, reunion vetiver hydrosol, organic Haitian vetiver essential oil, organic Sri Lankan vetiver essential oil, and organic vetiver double distilled essential oil. This is another one of those fragrances I really wish my friend, my dear friend, departed friend Dan Mish was here for this because he would love this. This is a vetiver fragrance through and through. To me though, I kind of get an association of boiled peanuts. In the South, here in the South, there is something that you can get that you can't really get other places that is boiled peanuts. And you eat the shells and everything. <laughs> I don't like boiled peanuts, but I have definitely smelled them before. And this smells like that. It's rooty, starchy even. Um, it has a legume type of smell to it and also very green. But this is really good for kind of a case study in what vetiver is. It's got all the vetivers in here. I forgot to mention one of the vetivers adds a kind of smoky twinge to it and you do get that. It's not overpowering. It's just a little hint of it in there that just kind of a, adds a little bit of a smoky kick to it. It's a very natural smelling vetiver that is thick, vegetal, and green. If you want to try vetiver, vetiver, <laughs> try this, vetiver planet. All right, last but not least is Lavender Planet. And when I was assembling this list, I realized that a lot of the fragrances that are limiteds for this month are kind of diving into one note, which I think is really interesting. I don't know if that was on purpose or just a coincidence, but I thought that was pretty cool. Lavender Planet, like Vetiver Planet, is a planet of lavender. It's a case study in lavender. It's got a whole bunch of different lavenders. And if you like lavender, then go to this planet. <laughs> Notes are cashmere lavender hydrosol, French lavender essential oil, Spanish lavender essential oil, English lavender, South African and Belgian lavender absolute. Now, lavender is a very common ingredient in fragrances. You smell it in almost every fragrance out there. They just want to put lavender in everything. It's like cranberries in the juice world or turkey in the meat world. They want to put it in everything. I, to be honest, don't like lavender as a note by itself, but this I actually do like. I do think this is really interesting, very good. It's very natural smelling. So if you like lavender, if you like natural smelling lavender, this is that. It smells like exactly like you're in a lavender field. Like you just stepped in a field and you smell it, smell the lavender wafting through the air. This is that. You're in a lavender planet, baby. This is super thick and rich and dense. And it does have a lot of complexity to it for a one note fragrance. It's excellent. I think it's really, really good. Now, this is not my favorite scent from Phoenix Arizona Accoutrements. This is not something I would wear a lot, but I think this is really good. If you like lavender, then this is excellent. You've got to try this. If you want to try any of these, definitely check out the links down below. These are excellent. They're only here for a limited time, so get them while you can. What do you think? I would love to hear your thoughts. Let me know down in the comments. I'll see you next time. I'm Dave with the Fragrance Bros. Bye.